Hi there. Welcome to Apple Go Development and this is Balaji. I am so happy to continue the tutorial in shift coding. This is lesson 3 strings and characters. And in this strings part 2. Just recalling the part 1. In part 1 we have seen the string literals. In this single line string literals. Multi line string literals. Special characters in string literals and extended string delimiters. I hope you are clear about these topics. If you did not watch the video or you want some more clarity on these topics, please watch the video link in the description. In this video, we will cover Below listed string basics. The continuation of part 1. The second topic is empty string. The name itself we can guess it. The string does not have any value. It is empty. Initially we don't have any values to the property. Later we can load the values from the API, local storage or any other sources. The third topic is string mutability. We can change the string values like other data types. The only condition is that it should be variable, not constant. The fourth topic is strings or value type. Totally there are two types, the value type and reference type. Here the strings are the value type. We will see these all topics in very detailed manner. So, don't skip the video until then. Ok, let's start. The second topic is empty string. Let's declare an empty string where empty string 1 equal to double quotes, double quotes. Where empty string 2 equal to string open and close bracket this is type inference and this is the string initializer to check empty we can use the below logic if empty string one dot is empty this bool value indicates whether a string has no characters Using the count also, we can check the condition like this. If empty string 2 dot count double equal to 0. This will check the count of the string letters. Click the button and see this both are returning the same results. This is about empty string. The third topic is string mutability. We need to declare a string as a variable to change the value of the property or else if it is a constant, we could not change the value. It will show the compile error. Where variable string equal to ABCD variable string equal to apple code development by balaji let name equal to balaji then name equal to some other name bala it will show you the error we could not change the name because it is a let constant not a variable this is about the string mutability the fourth topic is strings are value type. Before that, we need to know about the value type and reference type. In value type, if we copy the value from 
one property to another it should copy only the values not the reference of base property so if you change the value in one property it won't reflect in another both are independent the reference type property will copy the reference of the base property so if you change the value in one property it will reflect in another both are dependent class is an example of that we will discuss it in the upcoming lessons in detail just know it now and the strings are the value types where value 1 equal to a b c d and value 2 equal to value 1 and change the value 1 value 1 equal to apple code development by balanchi print the properties click the run button see the values are not changed in value 2 it is a b c d only and the base property value 1 change it to apple code development by balaji in reference string both will change this is about the strings are value type let's see the conclusion of the session we have seen empty string string mutability and strings are value type in part 3 we will cover string interpolation access strings and modify strings so stay tuned this is all about strings and characters in shift part 2. Please know it before using it. I hope you guys understood and enjoyed the session. Thank you. Bye bye. And see you in the next video.